In this video, we'll show you how to set up the Oracle Apex Assistant uh, using Oracle's Gen AI service. To get started, uh, if you just click in the SQL worksheet, what we expect to happen at the end of the configuration is the Oracle Apex AI Assistant buttons will start appearing here and in other places throughout the tool. To configure this, simply go up to Workspace Utilities, All Workspace Utilities, and go into Gen AI. Click Create. We're going to select your AI provider as the Oracle AI Gen AI service. Next, uh, we're going to select our region, which is going to be Ashburn, and we're going to go out into our OCI console to grab some information. So for starters, we're going to go up to our profile, go to compartments, and we're going to select the compartment OSID that we're going to use for this. Go back in, we'll put our compartment OSID there. Okay, next we're going to need to set our model. So in Ashburn, we need to see which models are available. So let's go up to the top here. All right, and here are the models that are available uh, right now in this, this region. We're just going to use the Grok 3 model base. Let's grab that. Next, we're going to enable it to be used by the App Builder. And we're going to begin uh, by creating a new credential. So uh, to create our credentials, uh, the easiest way to do this is go out here, go back to your profile. OK, we're going to copy your user OSIT. OK, next we're going to go to tokens and keys. And we're going to add a new API key. For this example, I'm going to download the pre-generated key. I recommend creating your own keys, right? But let's go ahead and download this key. All right, once our key is downloaded, we'll click Add. And here we have the, the other information we need. So we're going to grab, first we'll grab our fingerprint. We're going to grab our, our tenancy OSID. And last but not least, we're going to open up the key we just downloaded. Copy and paste the private key. And insert it in. Now we'll go out and test the connection. We can see the test succeeded. And we'll go ahead and click Create. Once created, uh, you will see the Apex Assistant start appearing most everywhere. Now, this is a blank tenancy, but the first place you can see it is right here. Now, in our next video, what we'll do is we'll show you how to start using the Apex Assistant for three practical purposes inside of Oracle Apex SQL Worksheet Developer.